Hey everybody, it's Mr. Shashimon, I'm back again in Pokemon Fire Red. In this episode, we're gonna be fighting Koga. Now, I healed up like last episode I did. Um, I'm going to start out with Logon. Uh, <laughs> A mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth! Very well, I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom, sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. I was super racist right there, but who cares? Fighting Koga! Now, I have a funny story with Koga. Almost all of his coughings and wheezings have self destruct. I was playing this game one time, and I had my Pidgeot out. This is like second. Either first or second time I played this game, I don't exactly remember. Ow! But, um. My burb lived it. That makes me feel great. But, um. I was fighting him. And. I used Fly! With Aviator. And. His Weezing, his strongest Pokemon, and his last Pokemon. Blew itself up! While my burb was in the air, and I won because of that. Out of all of the things... Oh, uh, it's not Magnus Minimize. I think it's Minimize, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, blah blah blah. I have Derek out there because it's a special wall, and I want Derek to physically... Ah, Acid Armor, yeah. It is a bastard. I'm gonna need critical hits to break through this thing's defenses. But good thing since Derek is four times resistance against poison. And I have healing items, so if he gets super weak, I can heal him up during this fight. Derek. Oh, Derek was able to get a thrash off. That's fantastic. I'm gonna need a crit. And I don't want Derek to be a burb. Don't hurt yourself like the burb. And Derek hurt himself in confusion. Alright then. And I'm gonna get sludge. Wait, am I still in the thrash? I fast as this thing. Oh no, I'm not. Derek, snap out of confusion, please. For yourself in confusion. I'm just gonna keep getting sludged until this thing is done, like, with me, I think. Snap out of confusion, that's good. And I was able to hit it with Thrash! Alright, he's gonna heal himself up next turn, so. I'll probably heal up, um. Yeah, after. Yeah, Hyper Potion. After I'm done with the Thrash rotation, I'm probably gonna heal Derek. 100% up with the super potions that I have. It might take a couple turns, but Derek's already confused. That muck has made itself a freaking monster. Alright, I got some super potions. This is why I bought super potions, and I think I should um, heal up Aviator as well, just in case. So, because Derek can take these hits like nobody's business. As long as I'm not hurting myself, I'm not going down. Use Minimize. Great. I kind of wish I had Stomp, because Stomp is a weird move. It does more power when an opponent has Minimize active. Yeah. In my opinion, this is the toughest one out of all of them. Because pretty much what all the other Pokemon he has are going to do, they're going to blow themselves up. There's no if ands, or buts about it. They're going to they're gonna blow themselves up. And this one, in my opinion is the toughest because stop hurting yourself is because um it has minimize and it's going to just sit there and dodge hits all damn day and if it gets six freaking uh if it gets three acid armors up it's gonna max out its defense and it's gonna be super hard to just chip this thing down the reason i have derek out there is because this thing is a special wall and derek you have been doing well fight the sludge monster Fight Hidora! Kill it, Godzilla! <laughs> Derek snapped out of his confusion. Used his last thrash and went right back into confusion. Alright, Derek, I think, can take. Probably go for another uh, round of thrash unless he hits himself, and I'll probably heal him back up. Yeah, you hit yourself. Alright, I'm gonna heal you back up. I'm glad this muck has no recovery moves. That would be a pain. I'm just going to use one Super Potion, I think. And then go for it again. I... What is your last move? Probably Toxic. Uh, everything here has Toxic. That is the gimmick of this. It is a Toxic Gym. 
and it sucks! I'm actually gonna heal up just a little bit more. I'm probably gonna be using all of my super potions immediately now! That's great! That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, since Derek's on the field, he can't really toxic, so... It's Derek! Really? You have, like, always hit yourself. I think about four times in the entire series you have not hit yourself with confusion after Thrash. I need that crit, man. I need that critical. Sludge me. Sludge me, you bastard. Oh, I missed my last thrash. That's not good. I'm gonna heal up and go for another thrash set. Uh, this is honestly... My best move for Derek, considering... My best move in general, considering this thing has Toxic. And my burb, I don't think, because it doesn't have explosion, and I don't think my burb can really take not being, or take being poisoned. Derek's the only one here who actually can fight this safely. Really, bro? I think it has three minimizes now. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. Snap in the confusion, that is fantastic, right away. Wow, Thrash is, like, not missing. Right as I say that. He has another minimize up. That's four minu- A hyper potion again? Okay. I am going to be using all my super potions. This is great. But at least... I know- I have used up his hyper potions. I've chipped him down enough to use up all of his hyper potions. Come on. Come on, buddy. Stop it! Would you stop that? And that that's five minimize. I might be able to struggle this thing with that. It's really cheap. But I might be able to do it. Even though Sludge has a lot of moves. That's six minimizes up. I don't... Sludge has, I think, ten PP? Oh, Derek missed. Dang it. Acid arm. I think it's, um... I think it's done with moves. I keep missing, so... Yeah! Yeah! All it can- it's a struggle fight now. It is out of attacking moves. Wait. I have an idea, because that's three Toxic. Toxic has 10 PP. And after this Thrash set finishes, Acid Armor can't go any higher. If he runs out of Toxic, I have a great idea. That's four. That's... Okay, four Toxic. Derek's confused again, that's fine. This is a tough fight. I've always found this fight to be one of the hardest. Dang it. That's... Six? I think? I totally lost count. Seven? Come on. Alright, I'm missing anyway. I'm not going to be able to hit with Thrash. Eight! I'm just going to go to Horn Attack, because Horn Attack has more PP, and I really need to just save Thrash, just in case. Nine! Stab that confusion, good. Horn Attack's not going to hit. Acid Armor, nope, okay, you have one more Toxic underneath you. And I'm not hitting, this is just a stall fest. There's ten. Alright! You were trying to evasion stall me. You bastard. Oh shit, there was ten! <sighs> Crap, I did miss one. Well, either way... Terravolt, honestly, I think Terravolt will only be useful right now. Cuz... I can hit it forever. And it doesn't have any more moves to attack me with. It might be a dis uh, special defensive wall, but as long as I can hit it enough times to just take him out, I think I got this. Ooh, that was nice. Minimize. It can't do anything else. But just sit there and take all of the electricity. I, you know, like, sometimes when lightning hits the ground and turns it molten and then hardens? That's what I'm doing to this muck right now. Nexus is coughing! Okay, I think Logon can actually use some experience here. 
Hello, coughing. Over here. I'm gonna switch out because I have a feeling it might blow up on me. Sludge, huh? Um, I figured as much, but I'm literally, I am using Aviator a bit as a stall here. I'm using it as a self-destruct stall. Nope, okay, you sludged that time. I hurt, got hurt by poison in the air. I'm using my strongest move, so... It being a physical wall, this isn't super good. Alright, fly in the sky. Fly like an eagle. Okay, you sludged, and I'm going to be hurt by poison one more time. I might use Aviator's a sack play to get a free switch in for whoever's left. Weezing, okay. So here's Weezing, his strongest Pokemon. I think it's like level 43, something like that. Um... Yeah! I am a little bit underleveled for this, but I believe Scorcher can take care of this thing no problem. If not, it might blow itself up. I'm here's hoping that he's gonna blow himself up, and I'm gonna just win this because he just exploded. Charizard's gonna use Flamethrower, and I'm gonna weaken him down off. Or Scorcher gonna use Flamethrower, and weaken him down a fairly good amount. Thank God you're a special or a physical wall, not a special wall like your brother. And that is it. Only one Pokemon blew themselves up. And that was the first coughing. All right, and I beat Koga. <laughs> you have proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. Take the Soul Badge. What? Logon is evolving. I thought it was one more level. I didn't remember exactly the level he evolved at, but yes. Our fifth member is evolving into something probably a little bit more useful. Considering when your first evolution you're a bit squishy. And Logon has evolved into CK! <sighs> Alrighty, now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also allows lets you use Surf outside of battle. Ah! Take it here! Take this item! We use TM06. TM06 is toxic. It has secret technique dating back for some 400 years. Toxic is a fantastic move. Yay, I have my seeking. Let me, get, let me just look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. He's so happy. Doesn't have the best moves. Doesn't really have the best stats either, but I'll deal. I'll deal. You. <laughs> some of my Pokemon have worse stats than him, so. Like, you have crappy attack. You're actually, you have pretty crappy special defense, you have really crappy special defense. You're all around good, and you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You'll, you'll join the team. Just fine. Alrighty, and we made it out of this gym, and we still have some time in this episode. Hooray! You know, how about for this episode, or at least the rest of it, we go explore the Safari Zone a bit. There are a bunch of items and Pokemon in the Safari Zone, and things I need to do. First, I need to heal. Oh man, I have a feeling Jolteon's going down. No Terravolt. No Terravolt actually made it all the way. I'd love it if you healed my Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse Joy. You are a darling. Aw. I hope to see. I hope to see you again too. Alrighty. So. We need to go to the Safari Zone. There's a bunch of stuff we need to do there. You might say it's a not an optional thing, but it's not. It really, really is not. I need to go here for a few things, actually. Flash ah, Flash ah, is gonna get boxed. For what you might ask? Well, he's in here. Welcome to the Safari Zone. 500, you can play a game. Yes. That'll be 500, please. Special kind of Pokeballs. You can only use Safari Balls in here. And I believe, um... On my first run here, I am gonna do an item run. We're going around getting important items that are in here. Or pretty much as many items as I can in here. Uh, there are a lot of rare Pokemon here, and one of them that I want 
can only be found in here. It's not... Oh, it's the albighty Derek! I don't need a Derek. I don't need another Derek. So right now, I am going to be looking for items. And it's Derek! When you were in your adolescence, boy. Aha. There's a Leaf Stone in here, which is very useful. Evolves Pokemon like Gloom, Execu e Execute, and uh, Weeping Bell, but... And we also have TM11 Sunny Day, which is actually pretty good for Charizard, but it still... Oh, it's a Nidoran female! Hmm, it's precious. Uh, it might be good for Charizard. I'll think about putting that on Charizard. I also really want something to put Toxic on, but I really have nothing. There's a full restore in here, which is amazing! Yeah, no, no items over there. How many, how many steps do I have? Wow, I have 400 steps still? That's good. Oh god, it's the evolved form of Flash! Aha! That's terrifying! The white... the whites of his eyes. Right then. There's Doduos. There's a lot of things in here. A lot of really rare things. Like I said, this is going to be strictly for items. I missed that item. I'll probably get it on my next route here. Or my next exploration. Um. Ooh, I know we're here. Found a Quick Claw. Which is very nice. It lets a Pokemon move first every so often. I'll probably give it to one of my very slow guys. I think my next member is going to be super slow. Exit. There's an Execute. Since it's here... Yes! The next Pokemon I want to catch is going to be an Execute. I want an Executor, and I think it'd be a really good addition to our team, being both Psychic and Grass. And I'm going to try for it. I'm just going to throw a Safari Ball, and I'll try for it. One, two, three. We got it. The only female in our group, actually, being going to be a Palm Tree. Executes data was added to our team, or her thing. Even though it appears to be eggs of some sort, it was discovered to be a life form more like plant seeds. Give a nickname to our execute. Now, I've thought, and thought, and thought, and thought about a name for this thing. And, for the most part, I, I kind of have something. I kind of don't. And... It's just... It's a palm tree when it evolves. So... Just because it's kind of a little bit of a pun, kind of not... I'm gonna name it Palmer. <laughs> it's a female too, so it actually works. But yeah... I'm gonna name it Palmer, because it's a palm tree. I'll pick it up on my way back out. I'll pick her up on my way back out, I should say. Um, check for items up here. Oh, there's an item. We found TM47 Steel Wing, which is a steel type move that, not too bad. We found a protein, that's fantastic. It boosts the attack of a Pokemon. I have some Pokemon who could use that. I'm actually back. I'm going to give that to Derek right now, actually. Protein. Use. Because Derek is our physical attacking monstrosity. Alrighty. We are almost done with the main item. Ooh, I need this, I think. Found the gold teeth! That is actually very important for these side quests. And we also found a TM32 Double Team. Fantastic move. Banned in tournaments, so... Don't use it there. Ah, finally! You f you're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign up for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won! And we received HMO3 Surf! And we could ferry you across the water. This is why I wasn't teaching Logon Water Pulse. Because I knew I would be getting a much better water type move real soon. And I'm going to teach that to log on. And Derek can learn it too, which is really terrifying. And a move should be replaced with Surf. What move should be forgotten? I'm going to get rid of 
Lael for now. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Peck for now. I'm gonna switch Peck and Flail around. Or switch Surf and Flail around. Machine was set. And our beautiful little Sea King learned Surf. Alrighty. Since we have Koga's Gym Badge, we can now surf across the water. Anytime we want. Hello, log on. And we are now here. There are sometimes hints and tips inside of those houses. Most of them are very, very, very useless. Just don't worry about it. We have not run across a single rare Pokemon this entire time. Well then. Let's see what you got here. Max Potion, that's really good. Fully heals a Pokemon. And I'm pretty much just going to run the timeout getting items. And we have another a Max Revive! Those items you cannot buy in stores, and they fully heal a Pokemon that has fainted. Ah, there, never mind, time's up. Safari game is over. Catch a fair share, come again. Alright. I'm actually gonna fly off to here. Celadon City. And between episodes, I'm gonna pick up Palmer out of the PC. Anyway. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be Mr. Shashmo, signing off.